Hey guys, how y'all doing today? So I got some exciting news to share with you all. We got a bunch of new books coming in 2022 and the topics are pretty freaking sweet. Uh, a bunch of them are going to be prequel era. So um, I actually saw this on Instagram. Del Rey posted it that, that they're going to be releasing some new books in 2022. And if they're going to be anything like the previous books that they made with Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, Master and Apprentice and Count Dooku and Asajj and, and Sifo Dyas, uh, with Dooku Jedi Lost, then, you know, these are going to be great. So let's go ahead and read what these are all about. And uh, we can give our little take on we, me, we can give our take on it. And I can discuss it with you guys. So four new fiction books have been announced, including the long awaited novel from Adam Christopher Shadow of the Sith. Um, and we're getting another one from Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan in the book called Padawan by Kirsten White. And then Mike Chen delves into the lives of Anakin and Obi-Wan in Brotherhood. And then Stories of the Jedi and Sith brings 10 short stories from the front line of the battle between good and evil. So I'm not sure what when that takes place, but the Anakin and Obi-Wan one, I'm pretty excited for, as you know. Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, very excited for that. I'm assuming that takes place before episode one, obviously before he dies. So that'll be cool to see. But also Master and Apprentice took place before that as well. So I'm wondering if this is going to be perhaps maybe a sequel to that or is it adding on or is it taking place in a bit of a different time maybe later on maybe closer to the phantom menace which would be pretty sweet as well because master apprentice was more so well that's weird obi-wan being his patty pada one so ah, i guess we'll see but anyways brotherhood is sweet and it's by mike chen now if you don't know who mike chen is mike chen did that excerpt and he's done a lot of other stuff too but the stuff the what i know him for is he did that excerpt in that book from a certain point of view that's what the book was called and he did this excerpt in in audio format even it was which was fantastic and it was narrated by sam witwer who is the voice of darth maul super talented guy and also the actor of a star killer in gallon merrick and in that one mike chen wrote this really cool premonition almost or like dream that palpatine had of vader and, well, essentially Anakin and Luke coming in to kill him. And the story of it, the way he wrote it and everything, I just, I really liked it, really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to see where his book about my favorite character, Anakin Skywalker, and of course, Obi-Wan Kenobi uh, during the Clone Wars uh, will be. Okay, so StarWars.com is thrilled to reveal four new books featuring never-before-told stories from across the Star Wars saga. Star Wars Shadow of the Sith, a novel from author adam christopher takes place after star wars return of the jedi he finds luke skywalker and lando calrissian on a mission to locate exegol in the novel star wars brotherhood by mike chen follows obi-wan kenobi and anakin skywalker amidst the chaos of the clone wars and skywalker's rise to jedi knight okay sweet dude okay so this is going to be like an ep between episode two and three sort of thing obviously clone wars but looks like it's more so right after episode two which is Pretty fun. Star Wars Stories of Jedi and Sith, a new middle grade anthology features adventures from 10 acclaimed authors and the young adult novel Star Wars Padawan by Kirsten White depicts Obi-Wan in his early days as a student of Qui-Gon Jinn. Right on, dude. Okay. So I'm a little bit bummed out that the Luke Skywalker one and Lando Calrissian, it, the book is all about him trying to find Exegol. I think the whole idea of Exegol is ridiculous because Vader knows about it. Uh, from the comics, and I just feel like the ghosts would have told Luke, or uh, Vader would have warned him in Return of the Jedi, I feel like it's just, they're, they're, mm. I'm excited for these books, uh, Shadow of the Sith, and, Bro wait, which one is this one called? This one was called, a novel, uh, a novel from author Adam Christopher takes place after Star Wars Return, uh, oh, Shadow of the Sith, I guess that's what this one is about. Okay, well, I mean, look, I'm still gonna read it, because I still want to have, you know, my take on it, and I don't want to just, you know, talk out of thin air here so i want to make sure i know what i'm talking about when i do read it and maybe it'll be good i don't know but um the fact that it's taking premise on exegol i'm just not excited about it i just anyways you guys know how i feel about that okay so here we got release dates brotherhood comes out may 10th 2022 so just around may 4th which is going to be that's cool great um stories of jedi and sith june 7th shadow of the sith which is june 28th Okay, so it's going to be... Why wouldn't they release this in the wintertime, man? People don't read that much in the summer, do they? Not as much compared to winter. July 26th is Padawan. Okay. All right. Well, I guess it's... Hmm. Perhaps they're releasing this around the time... How interesting. They're releasing this around the time that Obi-Wan will come out. Hmm? Could this be a prelude? 
to Obi Wan to the Kenobi show coming out like in late May or something. I don't know. Either way, what do you guys think about these books? I'm gonna be reading all of them, and I'll give you guys my review and take on them as well. So um, leave your comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this vid, and uh, find me on Spotify. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. Until then, remember the Force will be with you always. So let's explain the excerpt and then we can talk about it a little bit. So the scene takes place within tens of minutes, I believe, before the scene where Sidious tells Vader that the son of Skywalker lives. He actually taps into Vader's mind and emotions before this and sees the entire dream that Vader has. Now in the comics, Vader actually knows that Luke is his son because Boba Fett tells him after actually fighting with Luke on Tatooine, when Luke went back to Obi-Wan's hut to grab his journal. Anyways, this book describes everything so extremely detailed and it's gotta be the coolest fan fiction that I've ever seen in canon. The audiobook itself was as if I was watching a movie just listening. Now you can also find a piece of this excerpt of this chapter on SoundCloud if you don't have the audiobook. So I'm gonna post it down below. It's about seven minutes of 25 minutes of the whole thing. And it's posted by Penguin Random House themselves. So I'll link it below and you guys can check it out. Essentially what happens is Palpatine sees himself in the third person. He taps into this vision or dream rather as if he's watching himself from the corner of a room as a hooded figure walks through the doors and beheads two royal guards. As he walks up to Palpatine with his crimson red blade, illuminating all around him in red, except for his face, he approaches Sidious, and Sidious walks up to him too. Palpatine, as he watches, says this figure is very stoic. He is like the perfect Sith of legend, power emanating from its very breath. As the figure neared further, he noticed it was actually a young man, not an old wizard like Dooku, not covered in demonic tattoos like Maul, and not a lumbering clash of organic and mechanical like Vader. The man then force choked Sidious, to which at this point Palpatine watching the vision saw that it was himself that this young man was fighting. Now Sidious, who we're going to refer to as in the vision and Palpatine watching the vision, Sidious found it hard to retaliate as he extended his own hand to emit force lightning, to which he did. However, it was distracted and it danced all around the entire room not efficient Sith Force lightning that Palpatine was known for. Palpatine noticed that Sidious was actually being bested and overpowered. This is the first time that we see Sidious being beaten so easily. And of all things being force choked, I mean we've seen that in the comics with Vader force choking Palpatine for brief moments, but he always breaks the power that Vader is putting on him. But in this scenario, Sidious is completely bested. A door opens and through it walked none other than Anakin Skywalker who throws his lightsaber hilt to the Emperor, spinning through the air, until it was held mid-air before the Emperor, finally igniting and inching towards Sidious. The lightning striking the walls, fixtures in the room, it describes everything as shaking and just this unbelievable amount of energy that was being emanated from the Emperor at this point. To be honest, it really reminded me of episode one of the Vader fan film, where Sidious was actually holding the lightsaber that was being thrown to him and he was having a really tough time as it was inching closer and closer towards his face. But of course, as here in the story, it just seems much more grandiose with Anakin and Luke and Sidious actually losing. And this is really where everything starts to turn in the story, where Palpatine, or Sidious, I should say, is starting to be completely overpowered. The lightning strikes everywhere except hitting its main target. Palpatine finally falls to his knees, and the fight goes on as the voice of Anakin tells the young boy to do it. Which I thought was really ironic since when Palpatine told him those very words, it was to kill Dooku, and now Anakin used the same words to order the young man to kill Sidious. The saber ignites through the Emperor, killing him once and for all. The hooded young man kneels and removes his hood to reveal himself as Luke Skywalker. So here it was Vader's dream of Anakin Skywalker, you know, training his son, Luke, to overthrow the Emperor. And this was Vader's plan when he told Luke on Bespin that Luke could join him and overthrow him. Now in this vision, continuing on from this point, Anakin had the same look as Revenge of the Sith. And Sidious sees this when he's looking through Anakin's eyes at this point and sees Anakin walk to some sort of reflection and sees himself. And he thinks to himself, no respirator and even wearing his dark brown Jedi robes, which actually angered him. The only difference that he saw here from Revenge of the Sith Anakin and now was the red lightsaber instead of his blue one hanging from his belt. This is Anakin Skywalker that fans have wanted to see in fan fictions ever since Revenge of the Sith.